In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a rigid body conveyor belt. Let's press Shift, 8, to create a mesh circle. If you don't see that in the menu, please activate an add-on called Extra Objects. R, X, and, 90, to rotate the mesh 90 degrees on the, X, axis. In edit mode, select the vertices like this. Type G and X to move them on the X axis while holding the control key to snap to the grid. Let's do the same for the other side and convert this mesh to a curve. Let's create a cube. We need to make sure the mesh's origin is set to the bottom face. S and Z to scale down on the Z axis. S and X to scale down on the X axis. Let's add the follow path constraint. This step is very important but buggy. I had to add the same settings quite a number of times to make it work for some reason. We must use the forward axis of minus X and up axis of Z but for some reason that didn't work multiple times. This worked only after moving the cube up and down, and removing and adding the constraint more than three times with the same settings. If this setup doesn't work, please try moving the cube upward and bring it back down. After that, remove the constraint and add it again. This is what we need to have. Please copy my settings. Please remember to put a check mark on the follow curve and press the animate path button. Also, the cube appears to be located above the world center, but the cube is actually staying at the world center. Let me hide the constraint. Please remember to make sure the origin of the cube is located at the bottom face. Shift D to duplicate and decrease the offset. Please ignore the cube at the top. I was testing something. The idea is to duplicate the cube along the curve and add rigid body to every cube in the scene. Keep on duplicating and decreasing the offset like this. All compress time. The time compression ends here. Let's add the last cube and add or remove the distances between the cubes. That will do. Let's test. That worked well. I'll add two decorative cylinders.
I'll smooth the cylinders. In order for the conveyor belt animation to work properly, we must use the same rigid body settings for all the belt meshes. For the falling cube, please use this rigid body setting. For the conveyor belt meshes, use this setting. Please remember to select all and copy the rigid body settings to other belt meshes. To copy the rigid body settings, select the source mesh and select the target meshes next. After that, go to object at the top and go to rigid body, and lastly select copy from active. All the selected meshes that have red outlines will copy form the orange outlined mesh. I'll duplicate the cubes and move them up to test the rigid body animation. This is the end of the tutorial. Thank you for watching.